what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Bruno Mars is being accused of being a culture vulture. Boy, they coming out the Bruno Mars now, man. Ain't nobody safe. They're saying that the type of music that Bruno makes is cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation is when you take or use something from a culture that is not your own, especially without showing that you understand or respect that culture. Now, let's break down Bruno's lineage. Bruno's mother is Filipina. His dad is Puerto Rican. He's known for making the type of music that includes funk, soul, R&B, hip hop. These are traditionally and historically music genres that are black. Now, who came after Bruno Mars? Her name is Seren. First of all, let me just say this. This is one of the most woke sisters in the world. One of the most woke people in the world. I love her to death. If you get a chance, follow her on YouTube. Now, this is what she had to say about Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars 100% is a cultural appropriator. He is not black at all, and he plays up his racial ambiguity to cross genres. She said this in a clip for The Grapevine, a web series that explores black issues. What Bruno Mars does is he takes pre-existing work and he just completely word for word recreates it, extrapolates it. She added, he does not create it. He does not improve upon it. He does not make it better. He's a karaoke singer. He's a wedding singer. He's the person you hire to do Michael Jackson and Prince covers. Yet, Bruno Mars has an album of the year Grammy and Prince never won an album of the year Grammy. That in and of itself is a tragedy. Prince never won an album of the year? Man, you know how many damn people has been influenced by Prince? You know how many people who have Jack Prince songs and won Grammys? Reminds me of this group called the Ghetto Boys. You know, for all of the, the artists that claim to have been influenced by Ghetto Boys, we never won a Grammy. That lets you know the Grammys ain't shit. These are human beings, flawed people with their own opinions and biases, prejudices, and they're judging other human beings' work. So you know how many times they've sat back and said, yeah, we know it's jamming like a mug, but we ain't finna give it to him. We know Marvin Gaye never received a Grammy until he did sexual healing. I mean, he was in the game, what, maybe two decades before they gave him a Grammy? He didn't get a Grammy for what's going on, which is arguably one of the greatest albums. I don't give a damn what album came out that year. I can guarantee you that whatever, whichever Grammy won, whichever album won album of the year, it was not better than what's going on. That is one of the most just, that's just one of the greatest albums ever. And for it not to win an album of the year, or even some of the other albums he put out. So you can't really judge people's work too much on awards that are given by other people that comes with certain biases and prejudices. Now, to her point, she said that Bruno Mars won an album of the year. I agree with that. To say that Bruno Mars was inspired by Prince, you can see it. Man, that is the rebirth of Prince, Bruno Mars. Now, but I got to disagree with Serene because, I mean, as great as she is, I love her to death. But she's wrong when she calls him a karaoke singer. The guy is really, really good at what he does. I mean, is he really bringing anything extra? I don't think so. I agree with her on that. I don't think that he's like 
taking it to the next level. I don't think he's taking what Prince did or Michael did to the next level. Here's the deal. Original Philippines are called Negrito, black people. Puerto Rican, Afro-Latino, black. It doesn't matter if they want to acknowledge it or not. It doesn't matter if somebody wants to acknowledge their lineage or not. They still is who they are. These are scientific facts. It's not a matter of opinion. Now, some of them don't want to claim because, well, the word ones that don't want to claim, they don't claim because of the negative stigma that America has successfully painted of black people around the world. And they don't want to claim because of the struggle that black people have to go through around the world, but in particularly in America. Additionally, Bruno Mars has always paid homage to the artists who came before him, the artists that he's borrowed from. So I have no problem with him doing the music. And here's the deal. In life, you use what you have to get what you want. In his case, if the music that he does is what he has a passion for. If that's what he wants to do, that's the type of music that he wants to do. Why not support that if he can do it well, and especially if he can do something to further the music, to gain more exposure for the genre, and perhaps even put people on? I think that's cool if he can help grow the culture, if he can help grow the genre, that's a good thing. Uh, him opening up, doing the type of music that he's doing and even embracing hip hop, the way he did that song with Cordy B, that gives hip hop further exposure. That's always a good look when we can get further exposure in a positive light. So I'm cool with that. But in life, you use what you got to get what you want. Some people use their looks to get what they want, to get special privileges. This dude is using his talent as an artist to sing, to dance, to project that charisma that he has, to, to win. And hey man, I can't be mad at that. I'm okay with people using what they got to get what they want as long as they don't impede the next man's advancements. As long as you don't get in the way of me. As long as you don't try to use whatever your special privilege is to deny me, I'm good. And after all is said and done, at the end of the day, I'm kind of low-key glad that Bruno has brought back that Motown era. God knows we need it. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?